Welcome to my Sunday. Bright, shiny, warm Sunday. Here in just a few minutes I'm going to have to pause to handle some stuff over here, but I won't have to actually pause the stream, so... Y yeah. <laughs> Pika. I... Yeah, she's two and a half. She doesn't believe she needs naps anymore, but she desperately does need them. And we have my mama here, and we have Rosal here. Ah! Welcome in, everybody! Yes, yes. The, the toddler... The toddler doesn't believe she needs them, but when her eyes are heavy while she's sitting eating her lunch, I'm like, yeah, you're not ready. You're not ready for no naps. Maybe someday, but today is not that day. <laughs> so, today I am very excited because we are playing my favorite game of all time because I got it all set up and it makes me really excited that everything is working. Here it is. The real thing, the real deal. No fake games here. No illegal downloads here. What we have is my shiny Alundra game. And I mean, this game is super shiny. There it is, like the little booklet. Yeah, yeah, the US boxes. I just, I love this game so much, so I'm going to, like, relish and revel and, and just really chill and enjoy this game as I'm sharing it with everybody. Um, yes, Sarix, it exists. I told you it does, because I own it, and it's right here in my hot little hands. Well, this is the book. The disc is in my computer, but this is the book in my hot little hands, and I definitely want to share, share everything about it with everybody, including, like, the lore, because this book gives you Pika nobody's familiar with this game <laughs> you are not a derp the only reason why Xerix is saying it exists is because I keep talking about it and he doesn't believe that it exists he keeps calling it this mythical Alundra game but I am going to of course you are mama you bought it <laughs> you in fact bought this game <laughs> um, but like, they went all out. They went all out for this, so. Okay, so before I dive into this, I need to reach over here and start my daughter's nap time music. Because it is time for her nap time music to go on. So, pardon me while we start this for her. Not that you all are going to hear it, probably, but we do need to get it started. Can you all hear the thumping that is shaking my house? That is my daughter fighting? Because I can't tell. Okay. There we go. Her music has started, so she should be settling down very soon. Okay. Well, at least there's that. <laughs> okay, so let's begin with this before I actually launch the game. <gasps> Cerebral, you're here just in time as we're starting Alendra, my favorite game of all time. This was a wonderful pickup from a video store way back in the day when those existed. I wanted to, to rent it because the box is shiny. Like, I don't know if my light really does justice to how shiny this box is. So we rented it. And then I decided that this was an amazing game and we had to own it. So... What is, Pika, what is A-H-S? I'm not familiar with what that is. You should enlighten me. I probably should know what A-H-S is, but. 
by all means. <laughs> oh, gotcha. American Horror Story. I haven't watched American Horror Story. That's why. Okay. And yes, everybody, my DM has arrived. Everybody should be all hail Malshi, my DM. Um, Captain Meg is here. Yay, look at all these wonderful folks who are here to check out Alundra, the mythical and amazing Alundra. But I want to share the lore before we hop into the game itself, because this is one of those games where the translators went all out to make sure that we had a fully, fully immersive journey. Yes, Nano! Hi, Nano! Hi, Rocky! Everybody's here! I'm so excited! Well, I am glad that American Horror Story is being awesome. I never really got into watching it, but I know lots of people have, so I am very excited for you all. Yay! I am glad it continues to be awesome because it shows continue on after a while and sometimes outlive themselves, so... And if you heard my cat, that would be the geriatric black kitty. Are you coming up here, geriatric black kitty? Are you coming up? Uh-huh. There's now a geriatric black kitty in my lap. We may or may not see her on stream. <laughs> oh, Roz. I mean, it could have been. Well, we will be here when you get back, Roz. Um, it's, this is a very Zelda-esque game. It didn't kill Zelda, but it, it could have. Okay, we are live. So, if I need to, to do a BRB to, to help with that, I will. But we'll see what happens. See if she settles herself. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fourfold vision is now here. My child is still screaming. We're gonna give it a couple minutes before Mama tries to go in there and settle her. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I want to read. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Are we ready for Alundra's world? Are we ready for Alundra's world, everybody? Because that's what we're about to dive into. Story time. Once, long ago, the peaceful people of Ainoa served the gods by means of idols. One day, righteous King Snow abruptly decreed that all idol worship must cease, and all images used for worship must be destroyed. Those that disobeyed the king's order suffered greatly. A few were killed for their insurrection, and a great number were cast into prison. There the king's men subjected those guilty of sedition to unspeakable tortures. The king also saw to it that those that openly defied him were burned alive at the stake. Thus began the darkest chapter in the domain of mortals. This is where we are. Once their idols were destroyed, the people found that they had lost all artistic inspiration or power to create. In this dark time, the nights were not peaceful either, for the people found themselves haunted by disturbing dreams. Fortunately, a tribe of people were found to possess the ability to tread into the troubled subconscious of these ones. Unfortunately, the powers they possessed might be misunderstood by the people, so out of fear, the members of this mythical tribe of Elna remained hidden. Once the terrifying dream started, the people of Ainoa wished that they still had their idols. They found supplication to the gods to be difficult without physical images to aid them, and they needed the aid of the gods now more than ever. Unsure if their prayers were even being heard by the gods, the people began to lose faith, and their supplication gradually lost focus. Broken and seemingly alone, the groaning masses suffered greatly. As if their trials were not great enough, the good people of Ainoa have now been greatly disturbed by unexplainable events happening around the village. The priest of the sanctuary was quick to point out that the gods were exacting their vengeance upon mortals for their lack of faith. 
Alas, it was far it was to get far worse before it was to get better. So that's the world. That is the world we are walking into. And now, a little bit about idols. Idols have been used in the worship of God since the beginning of recorded history. It was thought that the priests had their people use images so that they could better visualize their many gods. The people of Ainoa have used these idols to foster their relationship with their gods. Immense monuments were placed around the village of Ainoa in honor of these gods. The people hoped they would gain the favor of the gods by means of these images. Their requests were always simple. Long life, prosperity, good crops, and a bounteous family. The king viewed himself as a deity, and didn't relish the prospect of sharing his subjects' devotion with idols. So, seemingly without reason, he decreed that the images of the gods be destroyed. Since they complied with the king's decree and destroyed their images, the people became fearful of divine retribution from the gods. We'll see this image again. The Legend of Dreams. This is kind of important. Here we are. Since the dawn of time itself, dreams have held captive the interest of mortals. The fact that dreams many times mimic the reality of everyday life in often bizarre ways has never been fully explained, though there is no shortage of those that will try. Sometimes we'll, one will dream a dream so real that when they awaken it is difficult to discern if the dream was real or not. This phenomenon has led some to believe that all dreams are reality, but shifted in time. Some are past, some are present, and some are future. Those that believe these things have taken to recording all of their dreams in the hopes that one day they will be able to predict what will happen to them. It is rumen, rumored that there is a tribe of people known as Elna that can actually enter the dreams of others and walk in the lush gardens and dark corners of their subconscious. Once a person has gone to sleep and has entered into the state of dreaming, a member of the tribe of Elna can tune into their subconscious and actually appear in the dream of the subject. This participation is unrestricted and that fortunate dream walker can move around freely and can actually become an active participant in the dream, even controlling the outcome. There are also those that say that if one were to dream his own death, they would perish in reality as well. In the experience of those in Ainoa, this is no mere legend. The people of Ainoa will soon suffer a plague of death-dealing nightmares. Only a true dreamwalker has a chance of snatching them from the abyss of oblivion. Cheery. Cheery start. On to our hero. Background. Alundra is gifted with the ability to walk between the worlds of the conscious and the unconscious. Not knowing if this is a curse or a blessing, Alundra has tried to help people tame their monstrous nightmares, but he is crippled by a lack of knowledge of how to use his skill effectively. However, this time, the dream is more personal. Every time that Alundra awakens in his dream, he sees the same images over and over again. In his dreams, he sees a man shrouded in a cloak. This guardian, Lars implores him to journey to the village of Ainoa. Lars has repeatedly told Alundra of the evil id that once ravaged this world so many years ago. Lars urges Alundra to go to Ainoa for the hopes and dreams of all lie in his hands alone. Lars has foreseen the very place in which this evil will awaken. It is a lake located north of the village of Ainoa. Plagued by these visions and haunted by the words of Lars, Alundra boldly decides to board a ship that will soon set sail for the village of Ainoa. Thus begins Alundra's greatest adventure. This book goes on to give you character notes. Lots of characters that we're going to meet along our journey. Good, bad, and ugly. It gives you even some information on some of the baddies and some of the items. Like, I love this. Baddies. So, I'm not going to go through the entire booklet. If you can find the full set for yourself, I encourage you that has this booklet because it's... 
they don't do this anymore and I wish they would I wish they would include this much lore in the book gives you gives you some some extra pieces so that's that's our setup are we ready for this game itself hype if you're ready hype if you're ready because I'm ready Right. <sighs> Cerebral, do you really need more? Do you need a few more minutes? Do you need a few more minutes to digest? Mm. Okay. This is weighty. This this is definitely this is definitely a weighty story. This is not this is not your grandma's ARPG. Let me just say that. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna... Yes, we are. Here we go. And y'all need to tell me how the sound balance is. Let me know if that's too loud because we're going to watch this opening intro. We have to enjoy this intro, y'all. Awesome. Oops. Let me adjust it. I just love this juxtaposition of the animation with actual gameplay. It's like you get you get a feel of what the gameplay looks like. And this, this badass soundtrack. Yeah, my controller turned off. <laughs> he was busy like, you're, there's no input. What are you doing? Nobody needs to see my cursor. The bosses are fun. They're also a pain in the neck. They're also a pain in the neck. Alright, guys. Here we go. 1997. You guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's start it. We're loading. Here we go. Hey, it's, it's fine, cerebral. I'm 85. Four full vision is 80. This is the boat that Alundra... Alundra got on. 
Nuh-uh, Nano, my mom is here. <laughs> Pretty sure my mama would be the oldest person in chat. Alright. Here we are. I, get, I, I want you all to, uh, to notice the sound of the text. I can't tell you how weird I am of looking at the sea and clouds for days. I'll be so happy to be on dry land again. Notice, notice the difference in sound of the text. What you be wanting, boy? Have you forgotten where your cabin is? Again? No. Ignore my really bad pirate accent, I usually have a better one. Good. If you were to ask me again, I'd lock you inside of it until we reach port. That's not what I wanted to do. Go away. I, I, I do, in fact, know where my cabin is. Thanks. I'm returning to my beloved. I've nearly forgotten how it feels to hold her in my arms. And what of you? Why do you travel to Torla? What? Your dreams led you to this ship. You ain't one of them freak boys, are ya? Well, hate to break it to you, but yeah, he's he's a bit of a freak boy. You're feeling seasick. Arr, drop anchor over the side, boy. I just swabbed the blooming decks. Beautiful, eh? I've been a sailor since I was a lad younger than you. And I haven't yet tired of watching the waves roll across pristine waters beneath the bow. Alundra's cabin. We haven't met the captain yet, quite yet, Pika. We'll see the captain in just a moment. You were screaming in your sleep again last night, boy. I could have sworn y'all were on fire. There's a crack in the wall? Well, I'll be sure to fix it as soon as my friend and I finish this bottle of grog. Or when monkeys fly out of your butt, whichever which comes first. Sissy boy. I just got called a sissy boy. Alright. Now let's go talk to the captain. Here's the captain. His name is Merrick. What's the matter, kid? You look at my pale. Hmm. You been having the same troubling dream every single night? Ah, it's a seasickness fog in your land, love and mine. It'll pass. If you'll excuse me, I'd better tend to ease in the ship into port. Should be near. Alrighty, we're gonna talk to him again. Making me nervous, kiddo. Go lie down for a while. Why not have yourself another one of those freaky dreams while you're at it? Alright, it's time to have some freaky dreams, friends. Alright, I'm not in control here. I'm going to sleep. I also cannot control the advancement of this text kind of obnoxious. So, sit back and enjoy. I have zero control here. Lars, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Lars, I'm the one known as Lars. I am a wizard and one of the guardians of the seal. The time grows short before I'm bound once more. Guys, listen to the to the sound that the text makes as it scrolls. This is this is one of the, the, the little things that they do in this game that I really appreciate, given that none of this is voiced. Also, have I mentioned the soundtrack? Ah, uh, it's a bit quiet to hear the text sound. Okay. I'm going to pause this vision just a little bit to turn this up.
If I get it too loud, let me know. Can you hear me, really, sir? North of Ainoa is a deep, dark lake. Below its murky surface, a wretched demon has slumbered for a thousand years. Now the foul beast stirs once more. We stand on the threshold. You make me laugh, feeble one. No one has the power to stop me now. Especially not a miserable human. Tell me then, Melzaz, if humans are so powerless. How is it that prosperity is yours only by means of their efforts? Don't you understand, wizard? Humans have long since ceased being of use to me. Their presence in my reality has become nothing more than a thorn in my side. Soon I shall... Why do you snicker, old man? Do you dare mock my judgment? I laugh because you're afraid. You talk of destruction, yet you fear the strength of humanity. Why else would you come here now to stop me from sending my message of redemption? Admit your cowardice, foul fiend. I am not so cruel as to steal away the last shred of hope from one drawing his final breath. Believe what you will, Lars. But do tell me about this person you call the releaser. What is his name? Or hers? My time in this world has come to an end, releaser. But I have served my purpose. You now know of the great power locked within you. Heed my words, releaser. Travel to Ainoa. Use your strength to stop the demon. I now travel to the next world. Lisa. Ha ha ha, today it is Lars, tomorrow it is you, Lisa, and then the end of mankind. It is destiny. It is fate. Something's up, friends. Oh, I should probably point out. I can't get out that way. Ugh. I need to get out! Stand fast, everyone. I've sailed this ship through storms twice as ferocious. I listen to the captain. The Lady of the Sea could never raise us well strong enough to polish off the clock. C captain We're headed straight for the reef. Hold on, sweet mother of God, we're- That don't look good. You are awake. This is progress. This is good. I was afraid you might be having an eternal rest, you know what I'm saying. Ah, oh, Jess. My name is Jess. I'm a sword... swordsmith. Here in Ainoa. Decent money. Make my own hours. No big whoop. What is your name? 
Alundra. Hmm. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Alundra. You were on board the Clark, were you not, Alundra? You're lucky to be alive, you know what I'm saying. They have not found a piece of that ship bigger than my fist. Whoops. But let us not talk about that. Let us talk about you, my new friend. You are welcome to stay here until you are fully recovered. I live by myself. Once you leave, I'll be a lonely f old fat man again. Not that you should feel bad. Oi, I almost forgot. That book next to the bed, it's a special diary. If you want to use it, fine by me. I've got it for myself, but how many ways can you write, made a sword today? <laughs> I love that. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is, in fact, save the game. And this is actually a pretty clever setup. This was my, my test run to make sure everything was, was working working well. I think I'm going to go ahead and save it here. So those who remember the PS1 days, remember our memory card slots. There are four save slots in the diary, and all four together take up a single, sa single save slot on the memory card, which is freaking amazing. We talk to Jess. Fizzy, welcome in! We are just getting started on my Alundra run, my casual, casual playthrough. I forgot, I totally missed what Jess was saying. Jess, are you still talking to me? Ah. Oi, so many people in the small village. Have you met them all yet, Alundra? You feel strong enough to explore the village? This is good. The people of I know are very nice. Not as nice as me, of course, but they try. If you start to feel weak, be sure to come back here and rest, all right? Well, my ship went down, Fizzy. <laughs> the ship at the very beginning got caught in a storm and broke in half, and I washed up on a beach. And this kind man named Jess found me on the beach and brought me back to his house. And now we're going to meet the people of the town, like Sybil. You're the one from my dreams, the one summoned from the realm of our unconscious. You've come to save us. Your appearance is just as it was in my dreams, Alandra. Well, perhaps you're a little shorter. Note that I didn't tell her my name. There was no, oh, is your name Alandra? It's... You look just like you did in my dreams, Alundra. No creep factor at all. None. So, there are two ways I could go about this particular segment of the story, is I could go around and meet everyone in the village, which I'm tempted to do so you all can meet them. I can also skip forward because I know how to unlock it. See, right now, I cannot get out of the town. I've got this little punk. Talus, you talking to me? You talking to me? I'm the son of the mayor. When I wish to address you, peasant, I'll let you know. And my daughter is still having issues. This stairway is off limits, so just buy a clue and beat it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go on a short break to see if I can help settle that child. In the meantime, you all discuss amongst yourselves whether we want to meet everybody in town right now and then move forward, or if we just want to move forward. So... I'll be back.
Of course, I get raided while I'm dealing with the upset child. Hi, all you raiders! Let's see, what all did I, what all did I miss? Let's, let's go back. See, Sir Sips, you raided with a party of two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lexi, happy birthday, sir. You raided with a party of 17. Oh my goodness. And I've got lots of follows. What have we got going on? Let's check. Let's check these uh the follows that we got here. <laughs> da, 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 da. So we got ba, da, 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 finding them all. Beanie Beanie, thank you for the follow. Oslo, thank you for the follow. Murma play, thank you for the follow. Ah, oh, it did get noisy while I was gone. Ah, <laughs> oh, hi Oslo. I'm doing good. My child is trying to sleep. I had to go try and, and unsettle her. Roz, thank you for the host. Just trying to trying to see who I who I was missing. Okay, okay. Okay, so the vote is we want to talk to all the townspeople. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Malshim, for letting me know what the decision was. Ugh. Okay. Hi, camera. Camera. There we go. Let's wake up my controller. And... There we go. Hi, everybody. We're... Oh, I forgot something. Dang it. <gasps> also, thank you for the host. So, I have to do the shoutouts for the wonderful people who raided me. Uh, let's see. And... I, I don't know if you all can hear my cat complaining that I'm over here, but that is definitely happening. Why didn't it actually do the shout out for Lexi? Let's try that again, Streamlabs. Come on. Enemy? There, there we go. There we go. <sighs> okay, baby is... My cat, the problem with the cat is that he's knocking on a door, he's he's banging the door while the child is trying to sleep, and that's just not a good time. It's not a good time for anyone. Um, we just got into Alondra, Lexi, um, and anybody else, feel free to tell me who I forgot to shout out, who's here, who streams. Oslo, Oslo streams. I just remembered that. I'm just trying to... There we go. I'm going to get everybody, eventually. Feel free to tell me who I'm forgetting. And I'll fix it. Because I want to shout out everybody, because everybody's being amazing. You're amazing. Okay. So we're going to meet all the villagers. Sir Sips, you're back! You got back just as I did. Just as my child seems to have given up the ghost and passed out. I had to go in there and redo our entire nap time routine to try and get her to calm down and take her fucking nap. I did give you a shout out, Sir Sips. Thank you so much for the raid. Since you missed my thank you for the raid, you're amazing. Okay, so we're gonna meet all the town folks before I uh, continue on, because that's where we are in the story, is that, so those who just got here, 
you didn't miss much. The um the the world of Alundra is everybody had to <laughs> I'm I'm a familiar with Well that was my child. God I hope she settles. Settle yourself, my love. Settle yourself, you can do it. So I'm gonna talk a little more quietly because it's possible that she's hearing me and she's like, My mommy's right there and I can hear her. Fizzy, I'm, I'm playing this casual, casual playthrough. That's that's what I'm doing. I, I want you all to experience this. I don't know that anybody's done a randomizer on this, but but the world is that everybody has had to destroy the idols to their gods for prayer because the king said so, and now they're having horrible nightmares. And our main character is Alundra, who has the ability to enter people's dreams. We got on a ship because a dream told us to, and then the ship sank, and then we woke up on a beach, and a nice man named Jess saved us, and he told us to meet all the townspeople. Yes, we are definitely doing we're definitely doing casual busy. So this is Talus. Uh no, no cerebral. This is not a speed run. The world record for this any percent is just under six hours. Um and I don't have six hours. So I'm really hoping that kid just settles herself because this is this is a rough afternoon for my kid apparently. Anyway, this is Talus. Talus. I'm the son of the mayor. When I wish to address you, peasant, I'll let you know. The stairway's off limits, so just buy a clue and beat it. Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Sandman. We have also already met Sybil. Your appearance is just as it was in my dreams, Alondra. Well, perhaps you're a little shorter. We did not tell Sybil our name. That's not a thing that happened. She just happens to know it. This is Naomi. Good day, adventure. Wait, hold on a second. You're the lucky guy that just called from the beach. Your name is Alondra, isn't it? I'm pleased to meet you. What can I do for you today? And so, this is where we buy things. I'm dreadfully sorry, but that armor is simply not for sale. You see, it's been in my family for ages. Since my father's father's father, in fact. You understand, don't you? And so the way that you buy things is you pick them up off the shelf. And then you throw them on the counter. If you'd like to purchase the medicinal herb, it will be f the cost will be five guilders. Is that satisfactory? In the upper right hand corner of my screen is the amount of gilder I have, which is none. I'm sorry, couldn't it be of more assistance? Let me know if you need any help with anything else. So that's Naomi. She is our resident, uh, easiest way to get money is this. Though I didn't get any. That was health. Sierra. Sybil's mom. Hello, young man. You look much better than you did when Jess first found you. What's that? You were approached by a strange girl, strange girl with sullen eyes? There's no need to be afraid of Sybil, young man. She often has strange dreams and speaks strangely of them. But my daughter is a very sweet and loving person. Agreed, Sierra. Your daughter is amazing. Any? Any money? Am I just gonna get health? There we, there we go. Now I have five gilder. Now I can buy a medicinal herb. And then we have... Gustav. It's not my fault to lean when insane, damn it. <coughs> it's not my fault. Gustav's having a bad time. Here's his daughter. Aline. Welcome to my castle, handsome stranger. Who gave you permission to enter my bedchamber cards? It's funny, isn't it, love? You just can't help but laugh. No means no, you pervert. Don't make me smack you. That's Aline. She's a barrel of laughs. We can't get into this house right now because there's nobody in there. This is Nadia. 
Yes, yes, I know of you, the boy from the beach. Now please leave me alone. I'm quite busy, you know. Nadia. There's Myra. Oh, poor Nadia. It's been three days since she slept. You ask me why, stranger? Because whenever she sleeps, the power of her mind wreaks havoc all around her. It's an evil, wretched curse. That explains why Nadia's cranky. Bonaire, so you're the dude everyone's talking about. Well met, bro. This is Tumbleweed Central in the entertainment department, but the babes are righteous and the service most excellent, bro. Sorry to you, football. And then you have Phineas. Get up close so I can see you, son. We don't get many visitors around here. Yeah. Bonaire, if anybody wants to know what a dude bro is... Dude bro. This is Klein. He lives in the house on that far end over there that we couldn't get into. Who are you? Oh yes, the boy from the beach. I'm in the middle of repairing this gate, so perhaps we can speak later. Which is how we can't get out of the town going south. Because he's blocking that one. And then here we have Ludus. Wendell is nearing the end. How horrid must be to lie in that cold bed imprisoned in his own decaying body. Well, somebody is having a bad day. You've brought much joy to Jess, lad. I haven't seen him this happy in ages. This is Fane, or fine. I just realized that if his son had survived birth, he'd be your age by now. And his wife would be... Well, that's just foolish talk. Can't change the past. So now we know why Jess lives alone. Yustel, you are the boy who was rescued from the beach by Jess. I am Yustel. I magically unfold the secrets of futures not yet beheld. If you must know your destiny, stand before my crystal ball. Hmm. Do you wish you know to know your fortune, Ridley, sir? Why, yes, I do. Oh, I see, I see. The path you are to take reveals itself within my crystal ball. Your first act should be to make friends with the villagers of Ainoa. Actually, the crystal didn't tell me that. It's just good manners. Didn't your mother teach you anything? You wish to know more, releaser? My wisdom will cost you the mere pittance of 15 guilder, okay? So if you pay her money, she will, like, show you a map of the world map, and there will be a glowing spot that you're supposed to go to. Um... I will do that some other time when I inevitably forget where I'm supposed to be going. Since I know where I'm supposed to be going right now, I'm going to save my monies. Hmm, yes, a frugal one, you. The darkness spreads thick as night before your eyes, but you look into your heart for light and press on as if without fear. And then she heals you. Whether or not you give her money, which is nice. When you lose your way, return here and let the knowledge within the crystal guide you. I think that's everyone on this level. Okay. And now we are gonna go up here. And we are gonna say good morning to the mayor. Boma, I've heard of you, Alundra, and I'll ask you kindly not to cause any trouble here. I don't want to exercise my mayoral powers and have you banned from our peaceful village. Gee, thanks, Boma. Thea, our village is small, isn't it? But I could never imagine living in a big city. I love being in a place where I know everyone and where everyone knows me. I find it comforting. There's a puppy. Hi, puppy. You cannot, like, pet or talk to the puppy. If you try, you, like, swing your sword at it. 
There's another northern exit that I can't get through. Yuri, you're the boy I just found on the shore after the wreck. How are you feeling? You caught me right as I was headed up the mountain to pick some medicinal herbs. My wife Naomi sells what I gather in our shop. You should say hello to her sometime. Boop, 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 fizzy. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Septimus. Hmm. If I take that tonic and reduce it by means of reverse osmosis, it very well might be the cure. What? Hmm? Oh, if you've come from the grocery, just leave the food anywhere. I don't have time. He's a little absent-minded. Now, I am going to skip this house because this is the house I'm supposed to go into. So I can finish meeting the rest of the villagers. Keisha? Nice to meet you, I'm Keisha, and that's my brother Giles. We've traveled to Ainoa to share our faith and belief in the gods. We help others to feel their strength and beauty, and to worship it. And then we have Giles. Do you believe in the gods? No? Then you simply have yet to feel their presence. You don't even realize that the gods are the ones who guided you here. Well, I mean, it was Lars. Weird dude in my dreams, but... Whatever you say, Giles. Whatever you say. Alright. Time to move the story forward, friends. Wendell. No. Uh. Nesta's grandpa, you need help. I'll be right back, I promise. Burgess. You can't die, grandpa. You just can't die. Wendell. No. Ugh. Nesta's grandpa, I brought someone to help just like I said. Mead. Is he wearing the amulet of Nava? It was supposed to protect him. Nestus. The only person who can help him now is Septimus. I'm sure of it. My grandpa's having a nightmare and we need Septimus to help him. He's in the house to the left of this one. Go outside and up the stairs. Please hurry. Bring him right. Bring him here right away. My kiddo is just not having the snap type of thing. And now Sept Septimus has moved. Septimus, I can't bear to go. I can't look into their tear-filled eyes and tell them I don't know what to do. All these damn books, all my years of study, and I can't free Wendell from his nightmare. I'm not a scholar, I'm a fool. Sure. Wait, let me see your forehead. You... You bear the scar. <gasps> you guys, he's Harry Potter. I am Septimus. For years, I have studied the human mind and the world of dreams. In one of my ancient books, a legend is written of a boy with a mark on his forehead. He is said to be at once blessed and cursed. Cursed? Anyone? Granted the awesome power to enter the dreams of others as they slumber. Well, maybe that's not very Harry Potter, but... At least, I always believed it was but a legend. I have a favor to ask of you, Dreamwalker. I petition you to journey to the home of Tarn, my former teacher. Perhaps it will yield a clue. Something to explain what's happening to Wendell, and perhaps a way to stop it. To find the house, head directly east from this place. I'll go to Wendell and try to ease his suffering for the present, but please hurry. For if we cannot ease Wendell's pain, I fear I shall have the unenviable task of ending it. Good luck, friend, and thank you. Sure. Thanks, Septimus. That's not creepy at all. And hey, look, now I can leave the town. Guys, I can leave the town. And I can make money. If you want to grind for money, this is the place to do it. Anyway, but I'm not going to grind for money. Because I don't need to. I am, however, going to save it before I continue on. And I'm going to see if Jess has anything new to say. There we go. Tarn's Manor, you mean the house in the East Forest? That place has been abandoned for ten years at least, Nalandra. Many bad things there, you know what I'm saying? Promise me you won't go there, okay? Okay. I make no promises, Jess. You're no 
not my real father. A New Beginning is the name of this chapter that I saved before. You get the names of the chapters, which is actually really cool. Um, but as I recall, also sometimes spoilery. Like, they'll give you a, a chapter title that kind of talks about what's about to happen, and you're like, hmm, whoops. Yes, Sir Sips, I like it. Here's a church. It's locked. Clearly they don't want me to go pray. Ah. The physics in this game are fun. This is Cephas. The, uh, the, uh, gravekeeper, gravedigger. So beautiful here, isn't it? I like to think that my cemetery is a representation of heaven here below. That this place is almost as beautiful for the body as heaven is for the soul. Aww. He cares a lot about his cemetery. Alright. Shall we continue directly to Tarn's Manor, or shall we explore the world? And note that you go really slow on water. And can't jump nearly as high. In this, we have Olin's house. I believe Olin is in his house. And blocking me from getting a chest. Yeah. I'm off to the mine, lad. The sooner I get my work done, the sooner I can come back to Keisha. Oh, I forgot he and Keisha were a thing. Aww. I want that chest. But I can't get it yet. Fair enough. We'll see most of it anyway. But fun fact, the way you get into his house is later on, you just hop down the chimney. When there isn't a freaking fire. Okay. I have a vote for moving on. So we're gonna. Onward to Tarn's Manor. Um, I actually think it makes me the anti Santa Claus Oslo because I'm taking things and not giving them. Hey, speaking of, hi Tarn's Manor. Anti Claus, I love it. Tarn's Manor, danger, do not enter. Well, I'm gonna anyway. Ow. Ow. Dang it, white monkeys. I am not a fan. Tarn's Manor. Melzas. Those in full command of their mental faculties will heed the course of wisdom and stay away. I never claimed to have full control of my mental faculties. Of course, now I actually have to fight the stupid merc. <gasps> anti claws or klepto claws? I like anti claws. Now I'm gonna... Ow. I'm gonna fight a lot of... I'm gonna fight a lot of these guys. <gasps> Thank you for the follow, Meg! By all means, rewatch Death Note. The lurk is greatly appreciated. Alrighty. 
this game is a lot of puzzles on top of some minor platforming. But the story on top of everything else is just awesome and amazing. Medicinal herb. Oh, that's my menu, by the way. So, like, I can equip an item to use. I'm not equipping anything yet just because I don't want to accidentally use it. And then you can also see an, an additional menu that I have. There will be stuff here that we can examine when I get them. And then you can see my cloth armor and my short boots. Okay. There's a lot of switch puzzles. A lot of switch puzzles in this game. Now we get to kill all the slimes. Don't ask why I was not being actually hurt by standing on top of it. Let's just say the hitboxes don't necessarily make sense in this game. Uh, this one. We, we do all sorts of fun things with the oops, hitboxes in this game. Because they are legit hilarious. Like... Am I standing? How am I standing there? How am I not falling? Nobody knows. Medicinal herb. And a gilded falcon. So that's the first one of these that we find in the game. You can see them on the right hand side, the, the middle right under my gilder is the gilded pelicans. There are a hundred of those in this game. To, for instance, do a 100% run of this game, you have to find all 100 falcons. I am not doing a 100% run of this game, because one of those falcons is locked behind a roulette game that is obnoxious, and those that actually speedrun this game have not been able to crack the algorithm to be able to guarantee wins on it. It is really stupidly random. So, I'm actually killing you. The Falcons do do something. They actually unlock items. You trade them in for items later in the game which is why you have to do it to 100%. There are like life vessels, which are your health. Um, oh, okay. There are life vessels that unlock your health, that um, give you more health. Right now I have 10, you can see at the top. Each life vessel gives you more, up to 40 all total. Owie. Um, and then the 100th Gilded Falcon unlocks basically god mode. Um, it unlocks an, a, a weapon that you equip that makes you immune to damage. Which is interesting, but obnoxious. Cause ain't nobody want to do that shit. Like, people, owie, do it out of, like, interest or desire, but... A key! And then I climb up here. Excuse you. Go up. Thank you. Please don't fall off of things. Life vessel. Yes, more falcons is better gear and stuff, but at some point you get them all anyway. You don't need all of them to get everything except the damn wand thing. 
Right. This is what happens when you hit the wrong button. You peer into the chest in hopes of finding something overlooked, but sadly it remains empty. Thanks, game. Alright. I have herbs. And I don't feel like fighting you all. Go away. I have the Book of Elna. herbs. Now I have five of them. And then, so these heal some amount. And the strength tonic recovers that. And monies. I understand that feeling, also. Melzaz, I am Melzaz, ruler of this wretched land. Those foolish enough to dabble in the affairs of my subjects shall pay the ultimate price. Sure do. if there's any cool items I can get if I go this way. Because that would be cool. Oh, no, I can't. Ooh. By the way, that's a thing. Does not recommend going that way. I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring, right? There's that tree. To try... And you can see I can't jump that high. And I can't get through there. But I know... The random platforming... I can jump this. If I can... Do it right. There we go. That is, in fact, the intended method of getting these. Just so you know. I'm gonna mute me for a second, y'all. I'll be right back. Well, if you wanna lay in there with her and see if she'll do quiet time. Okay. 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 Alright. We're, we, we're, we're coming back. I just... 
trying to uh, powwow about what to do about the child who refuses to sleep. Let's just say this is gonna be this is gonna be a long afternoon. House for sale. Contact Centurius twenty twenty first. I have no idea who that is. Someday I'll get that chest. Pay attention to those little bee dudes. As we get further in this game, those little bee dudes are going to be really obnoxious. I'm going to come over here and just say hi to Nava. I apologize for the screaming child in the background. Nava, as long as you remain in this village, people are doomed to keep perishing. Thank you, friends. Clearly I've played this game too much to even even get that joke because I was too young. And now I don't remember what you said, Nava. You aren't that dense, are you? You don't you understand that? Thanks, Nava. See, y'all y'all are smarter than I am. I want the chest. I know I can't get it, but I will be able to get that chest someday. Nava's Nava's not pleased that I'm here. But whatever, dude. Similarly, I can't jump very well on sand. Or walk very well on sand. Hmm. Do I get that? Alright. I can't swim. So I can't get that chest until I can swim. And yes, those are fire-breathing rock turtles. Behold the fire-breathing rock turtles. <laughs> Throw a Pokeball at him. If only. Oh, if only. What is this? No trespassing. The Riverside Pub is under construction. Ah, yes. The pub. Remember how I said there's a roulette game? Okay. That's King Snow. That statue. I'll get you a better view of him. So, for those who were not here at the very beginning to learn the lore, King Snow is the one who um, ordered that all idols to the gods be destroyed. Because he did not like being second to people's gods, he likened himself to a god. So our troubles sort of come back to that. Okay, so I just did a little loop around the town just to make sure that I got the easy chests that I could get before going back to town. Okay, and now I'm going to go save it again. Because this world is a very dangerous place. Do not power off or hit reset. Tail successfully inscribed. Do you have anything else to say? What? Have your senses left you? Why would you want to go to Tarn's spooky manor alone? 
I know that Huskies are far too clever for their own good Oslo, and generally if they're being quiet, they're getting into mischief. And if you let them get bored, they will get into mischief. <laughs> Boy, that bump on your head must have mixed you up more than I guessed. That does apply to kids too, Zarex. 100% applies to kids too. Your body is healed, but I think that head of yours is still broken. Ah, uh, Jess, if only you knew what was going on in my head. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna say it will be no surprise to you like it wasn't to me that she was asleep on top of the fridge. <laughs> she found a comfy spot. So this is something else the game likes to do. Is if they want, you, if they don't want you to talk to somebody, they just won't let you go talk to them. Well, I hope she was comfy. All right, Wendell, Ark, help me, Burgess. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, if you die, I'll certainly die too. Nestus, Septimus, please help my grandpa. You're the only one who can save him. Rumi, despite my having prayed at the shrine of Magascar, there was no change. I can't believe that all that prayer did no good. Perhaps I wasn't sincere enough. I left her there. I mean, if she's up there, she can't be getting into trouble. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that out loud, Oslo. Uh, Alundra, you've returned, and you brought a book. Septimus is handed a tome. That he plops down and opens. I see, Alandra, you are the clan of Elna, the Dreamwalkers. You have the power to enter the dreams of other people and change their outcome. You can use this power to rescue Wendell from his disabling nightmare. You must go to him at once. I'll keep reading as you attempt to enter his dream to assist you. Are you ready, Alandra? Take Wendell's wrist gently in your hand. There, that's it. Now, concentrate. Try to feel his heartbeat pulse beneath your fingertips. Listen to the rise and fall of his breath, Alundra. Try to breathe in time with him. Inhale, exhale. In, out, in, out, in. Do you feel the flow, Alundra? Are you ready to make the leap? Here we go, guys. <laughs> Dreamwalking. Wendell's dream. That's not creepy at all, is it? Help! Please help me! Wendell, please deliver me! Help me, someone! Anyone! Yeah, no. Those are, in fact, totally not creepy screams. Guys, I'm too good at this game. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> uh, hit that again. Does that help me? It does. Here we go. Let's see if I remember my way through this maze. I want to 
to see what's in that chest. It's probably not anything that I can actually do. Carry, because I have too many things to carry. Oh, Guild of Falcon. There we go. So yes, there are Guild of Falcons and Dreams. If you do not get the Guild of Falcon in the Dream, it is gone forever. Because there is no re-entering Dreams. Enjoy not dying. No, really. Thank the gods, you've come at last! Alright. Wish me luck, y'all. <sighs> who, who are you, Alundra? Eh? Please, tell me you've come to release me from this horrid nightmare. Because... there were a faster way to kill these things. And fun fact, when Working Designs was localizing this game, one of the things they did was make the uh, bosses hit harder but have less hit points. So that these fights weren't so long. Swordsmanship I've ever witnessed. Thank you. I don't know about that. But 
you're alive, dude, so there's that. Alundra, can you hear me? It is I, Septimus. Wendell's body has stopped tensing, and he's not moaning anymore. In fact, he appears to be smiling. I don't know what you did, but his nightmare is definitely over. You guys, we saved him! Mead, you're back now? It was so strange. When you entered Wendell's dream, your body went slack. If I hadn't studied you, you certainly would have fallen to the floor. When you exited the dream, your body appeared to reanimate. It was quite a sight to behold. Septimus, there's no need to be concerned, Mead. It appears that this is to be the norm when he enters other streams. Thank you so much for coming, Cerebral. I understand what you're saying, but it still gives me shivers. I'm grateful, but I don't have to like it. I'm so glad you were able to come. Wendell, oh, where am I? What, what in tarnation is going on? Ah, uh, Wendell. You're a good man. Burgess, Grandpa, you're awake! Yay! Wendell, can someone explain what in Hades I'm doing in bed at this hour? <laughs> Apparently he's feeling better. Rumi, don't you remember, Father? You've been asleep for the past three days, trapped in a terrible nightmare. But you're okay now. You're awake and even more importantly, alive! Wendell, I remember now. I was being chased by a foul, horrid creature of pure evil. No matter where I fled in that terrible world, the beast found me. At last, I fell to the ground, too exhausted to continue the cruel charade. When I struggled to my feet to face my end, I saw the glorious face of Alundra and my salvation. Burgess, Grandpa knows Alundra's name. He couldn't have known that unless Alundra really went into his dream. How cool is that? You don't know the half of it, Burgess. Giles. Wendell has survived? Praise the gods! I must report this wonderful news to Chancellor Ronan at once. Septimus. Well then, Alondra, I guess it's time we left Wendell alone for some much-needed rest. Come, return with me to my home, and I'll explain your powers in greater detail. While you were gone, I uncovered some fascinating things about your gift. Nestus. Septimus? Alundra? Thank you so much for saving Grandpa. All in a day's work, kiddo. I am not controlling Alundra at the moment. <laughs> Giles. Greetings, Alundra. Giles, Chancellor Ronan has requested an audience with you and sent me to fetch you, Alundra. If you could come with me to the sanctuary to meet him, he'd be most appreciative, I'm certain. Septimus Ronan wants to speak with you? That's certainly strange, but you better see what he wants. I'm certain he'll be pleased to learn that Wendell's alright. Tell you what, Alundra. After you and he have spoken, meet me back here at my home and we can discuss your powers at length. Giles, follow me to the sanctuary if you would, Alundra. Again, no control. This way. This is Ronan. Yes, I know Alundra. Wendell has survived. The gods held forth the thread of salvation for his soul. Let us pray to the gods and thank them for their undeserved benevolence. I don't have a choice in this. I can say no, but he keeps chastising me about not praying, so... I'll pray. Since I don't have other options, really. Ronan. You see, the gods do exist. They exist in the hearts and minds of those that pray dearly to them. Is that all, dude? Yep. That's all. Got anything else to say, Giles? Ha! Now, you are one with us, my friend. You shall become just as we. No better, no worse. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, Giles. That sounded just a little creepy. It's just a little creepy. Okay. 
guys, I'm feeling a little peaked. Can I? Can I heal up? I'm gonna heal up just a little bit. There we go. That's good enough. to say to Jess. What? Oh, you're still mad about me going to Tarn's Manor. But dude, I... Seriously. We've moved on from Tarn's Manor. Let's learn about our powers. Wendell, I have news for you. Please come near. Wendell is not alone in his affliction of cursed dreams. There is a girl named Sybil who dreams though she is awake. She claims that in her dreams she sees events that have yet to occur. Nadia is another. She sleeps. Strange events occur. Nearby objects explode as if packed with dynamite. I'm told that she has not slept in days and teeters near insanity. I journeyed here three long years ago. I had heard tales of a village cursed by eerie happenings. I believed I could determine the cause of madness, but all I've ascertained thus far is the limits of my ability. But now that you've come, everything has changed. You hold the power to stop the nightmare, Salandra. I've witnessed your might in combating the evil, and I envy you. Alundra, with your power and my knowledge, we can save the good people of Anoa. We can find the source of the evil nightmares, and we can banish it to the eternal prison of history. Alondra, please use your power to help the people of my village. Sure. Can I read the book? No. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about that. Feels like an earthquake. Oh, this is terrible. Awful. It's collapsed. The freaking coal mine has collapsed. Coal mine? Let's go, Alondra. Perhaps we can help. Right. So. If you'll recall, I said that I'm not going to do a 100% run. This sequence is the other reason. 50% is the freaking roulette game. The other 50% is this sequence. If the coal mine collapsed, I fear there may be poor souls trapped within. We must do whatever lies within our means to get them out. Can I save now? Nope. See, this is why I saved before I went and talked to Septimus, because now I can't save. My sister will be devastated if Olin were to pass away, but his fate now rests, and has always rested in the hands of the gods. Olin is a bright one, you know what I'm saying? But he's barely alive. Did he not have time to warn the others before he escaped, I wonder? Olin is the sole survivor of the cave -in, but he's only just barely alive. He's been taken to the mayor's house. Can I rob his house? Sorry. Important things. I need to know if I can rob Olin's house. I don't remember at what point in the game exactly I have the opportunity to rob his house. Do I not have to go in through the chimney? I do not have to go in through the chimney. Victory. Okay. But I could. And the reason why that is important is because that house becomes inaccessible later in the game. So getting that Gilded Falcon is important for getting it now. But that isn't the Gilded Falcon that is the problem. 
Not at all. If he doesn't improve soon, this child won't survive through the night. Olena and the others are experts at their work, but could one of them have caused this accident? What shall I do? I just have no idea is the best course of action. Why have the gods done this to Olen? A kind of man does not walk this land. Ugh. Oh. Help. Help. Can I... Do you mind if I... Dude? I need to... Give me the thing. I'm probably just... Yep. Yeah, figures. When in doubt, leave. Septimus shows up. <laughs> By the gods. So, Oslo, the, um, the roulette is literally a roulette game in a pub. <laughs> he said that when Olen was brought into town just before he passed out, he whispered the word Merg. Did you say Merg? How is it that we have had the misfortune of crossing those devilish monkeys from the tree? It's even more curious that they've attacked humans. They usually don't do that. The Merg were the white monkeys that we encountered in Turns Manor. The coal mine is near the area where the Merg live. It's quite possible their work disturbed them. Can you imagine the horror of Zane and the others? Hearing the low rumble of the roof about to cave in, having just enough time to realize what's about to happen, and then buried alive, suffocating under tons of damp, pungent soil. But why would the Merg react so violently in the first place as to cause such a terrible thing? If we try to rescue Zane and the others, the Merg might attack again. How can I justify risking lives to save lives? But we can't just wait for it to happen. Alundra, I think we both know what must be done. There's only one way to learn what happened at that mine. You must enter Olin's mind. You have to explore his dream or whatever state he is experiencing, but remember this word of caution. If Olen should perish while you yet inhabit his unconscious, you will surely perish as well. Alright, pardon me while I focus, because this is in fact a time portion, without a timer on the screen. Alright... All you have to do is throw the levers to the left, left, right, and left. You can remember that, can't you? Or is that too difficult for your tiny brain? Cool. Check it out, Alundra! I finally got a mining bomb! Woo! Stick around and maybe you can see it in action. And then we have Merc. What the heck? It's Merc. What are they doing here? That. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not sure whether or not I got this Gilded Falcon. Sorry, as I'm going through this, I'm taking a deep breath. What did you say? Olena and the others were attacked by the Merc? They dug a tunnel into our mines, but why? I'm certain that the mine shaft collapsed because of the Merc. I never imagined the Merc were clever enough to dig tunnels, let alone ambush. They dug a tunnel into our mine, and when the hole was large enough... Those damn baboons must be planning an attack on our peaceful village. Oh, uh... Hey, guys. Oh no, if nothing happens, Olen is going to. No, it's too late. Mm. 
Landra, you can go home now. I'm sure you're exhausted after this sort of ordeal. Besides, the sorry business now at hand is not your concern. Merc are probably preparing to attack as we speak. We can only hope that our deaths come quickly when they swarm the village. That's a cheery thought, Ludus, thanks. Merc climbed through and attacked. But their whole weakened the stability of the whole mine and it collapsed with a great roar. Say, what's going on there? I must begin arrangement for Olin's funeral at once. You should return to Jess's house and rest up. I'm certain you must be exhausted after the trials you've endured. I don't want to talk to you anyway, Roman. Keisha, watching through the window. Tell me the truth, Alondra. No one else will. Is Olin going to live, or is he condemned to... Oh, Alundra, this all feels like a strange, horrid nightmare. If it is, why can't I wake up? Keisha, my sister had strong feelings for Olin. If she learns he has expired, she will most certainly be crushed. She was standing right there, you idiot. Gods can be cruel at times. See, events like this are a true test of one's faith, Alondra. I can only pray Keisha possesses the strength to withstand this cruel trial. Thanks. Dude, no way. The heinous murder in the mine. Not to spread bad vibes, bro, but Zane and Lyman are in some stinky guacamole. The stuff's deep. Don't mind the accidental comic relief that is Bonaire. I see, like, the rest of the town is closed up. Jess. Alundra, not too long ago, the people of this land prayed to idols. They were material representations of our gods, you know? Then, quite unexpectedly, the king decreed that all idol worship was forbidden. People had no choice but to comply. We watched the destruction of our statues in tears. About that time, the palace in the North Lake was submerged. Sunk, actually. That was five years ago, but it feels as if it were just yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Since that time, we've lost the passion to create. What if the gods became angry and took our passion from us? Not saying they did, but it certainly makes me think at night, my boy. Gods or no, I must regain my passion, you know what I'm saying? I can almost hear Olin's spirit talking to me, demanding that I make the finest weapons once more. Or even better, demanding I assist in the fight for this land. This is the mining bomb. It's actually just a bomb, but since it's used for mining, that's what they call it. A nice way to get through rocks, you know what I'm saying, Alundra? With this, you could easily get into the coal mine, but it's just too dangerous to attempt, my boy. <laughs> Here's the plan. I go to the mine, I see if it's safe, and maybe I'll let you go inside. You stay here, alright? One way or the other, I'm going to keep you alive through this. Aw, oh, Jess. Alundra disobeys and stealthily takes the mining bomb, stowing it in his pack to avoid detection. I have a bomb, y'all. Because that was stealthy. Eh. Salvation was the name of the last chapter. I am going to play... I think... I think I can get through the mine sequence. Um, 
I have to cut my stream a little short today from when I normally do. Because of spouse needing webcam. So, we'll see how far I get. So I'm going to play for another about half hour. <laughs> Who, Alundra or Jess Erix? Who's got the nerve? Oh, you mean my spouse needing the... yeah. Alundra, why do you have that mining bomb? Because I'm that guy. I steal it. And <laughs> then I just talk to him. Boy, are you crazy? You can't go into the mine. You should be lucky to come out alive. I refuse to let you go, Lundra. You can't. You shouldn't. Oh, I give up. Promise me this, alright, Alundra? If you sense danger, don't be a hero. Just get out of there alive, okay? Sure thing, dude. My earnest prayers are with those yet trapped within. Do you fear what lies within the coal mine? Of the Merc? There's no time for fear, boy. If you don't enter the mine... If you won't enter the mine to help those people, I will. Well, shush, Klein. I'm working on it. Here I go. Here we go, friends. Coal mine. Let's go ahead and open that again. Thanks. Oh, it's locked. I guess I can't get that engine up and running. I guess I'll just have to walk through there. I wanted to turn on the engine. really don't want to fight these dudes. Like, really do not want to fight these dudes. Anyway. It's rested solid and not inclined to movement of any sort. Can I bomb it? Nope. Okay. That's fine. I'll just hop down here. Oh, and I got these blue dudes. Which are worse than the pink dudes. They're dead blue dudes. Wookie, 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 how about that? Does that hurt for this one? Does it make you bleed? Wookie, wookie, key, smash the furthest ones. Kill, kill, kill them all. Lyman, no, don't. You stop it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, Alundra, help me. Huh? Another fearless one. Come close to this fearless one so we can spill both your delicious brains. Alondra, you are a strong warrior with a good heart. Listen, I am not long for this merciless world. Here, t take this. It's the access key to the power room. Jalen and Zane are still in there. Please, help them. Yeesh. Well, Lyman's dead. Bunnies? I don't know why they're keeping the herbs and the monies in here like this, but I don't need that because I've got nine already. Put the herbs in the monies. Uh, 
F that. Not fighting y'all again. Now, do we remember how to start the engine? Who remembers how to start the engine? Because, yeah, we were, in fact, supposed to remember and learn something. Yep, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to hop in the minecart. Explore. supposed to go that way yet. That was an utter failure. Get out of my way. Power junction for mine tracks. platforming. Power's on to branch carts to access shaft one. Okay. Ah, crap. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. you have health for me because it's cheaper than using my herbs. Nope. Okay. So I now have power. Switch point left is the entrance, right is access shaft one bottom level. But I want to check something before I go down there. So I'm going to go back to the entrance, because there's a switch point here which is now accessible.
which will take me to the other side. to ground level. Is there anything I can do over here? No. Okay. I have to have a key first. It's locked. Yes. Okay. Now I know. I was doing things in the correct order. of my cards. Welcome in, Royal Raccoon. I am playing this game for all of my friends who have never seen it before. It's been a hot minute since I've played it, so we're gonna have a fun time. This is, in fact, my favorite game of all time, and everybody's like, this game doesn't exist. I am, in fact, using um, my PS1 disc of it, is, is actually what I'm doing here. So, I've got the OG, I've got my, my little booklet and everything. It is definitely Zelda 1 ask or Zelda ask. It is an action RPG with, in my opinion, a better story than Zelda, because it actually has, like, a real story. The farthest ones have returned! We must kill! Yes, kill! 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 They sh really should have, like, higher pitch voices, but... Could you all come down here so I can kill you? Thanks. <laughs> well, welcome in from Brazil! I, I am definitely fortunate enough to have... Oh, Jalen doesn't respond. His body is already beginning to stiffen. A key is loosely clasped in his left hand. Obtained a key. Oh, nice. Star Ocean is also another good one. Star Ocean is definitely... A good time as well. I I I only own Star Ocean. No, I I own two of the Star Ocean games. I have Star Ocean: The Second Story and Star Ocean: Till the End of Time. I have not finished either one of them, but I've played a whole lot of both of them. So I I will definitely uh, recommend them to all. There, yeah, absolutely. The, the the Star Ocean games are just all phenomenal. There. So so my 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 friends who are still here with me, if you have not played the Star Ocean games, I recommend them as well. This may be my favorite game of all time. This one right here. But give lots of love to the Star Ocean games as well. Maybe, maybe at some point I will play that as well. 
Um, Star Ocean the Second Story is PlayStation 1 for sure. Star Ocean Until the End of Time, I believe, is PS2. I've heard good things about the Tale series. I, I have not played them myself. But I have heard nothing but good. Alright. Save point. Important things. Save points. I'm looking at the time. I think I can get through. I think I can get through. Um, Boral, I am I'm actually towards the end of my stream since I, I'm going to have to get off here in about 15 minutes, but I'm seeing how far I can get before I have to get off. A prayer for the miners is where we're at. Nice, guys of Arcadia. I've, again, games that I've heard nothing but good things about that I have not played myself. Alright, this is one of those parts of the game that actually has, like, sequence breaks, if I can remember how to do them. <laughs> I'm not trying to push it, thank you. I'm trying to platform, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow, Boral! Welcome in! There's too many, too many of these things, okay. That's fine, I don't care. La da 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 da. Let's see if I remember how these things work. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Let's see if I remember how things work in this. Indeed, all the hype for the follow. Pardon me while I'm trying to remember the setup of this area and what I'm supposed to be doing. Switch points left is west shaft, right is you turn. Okay. And I just want to see what's down here. Ah, I see. Yeah, it's literally just a U turn. Literally just you turn, that's fine. While I try and remember all of the platforming I'm supposed to do. I'm so hyped for follows. I am super, super hyped for follows. Aha, aha, aha. I do not have the water scroll. I do not have those. They are not y'all. Ack! Um, there are two major sequence breaks in this game that I definitely was trying to do as a kid. Eh. That I failed miserably to do. You know what? There is a sequence break here, but I don't care. I'm gonna not do the sequence break. Thanks. Can you just go that way? And save me effort. Thanks. Appreciate it. Really? I. That is all I have heard about Alundra 2. Mainly because of uh, the fact that Alundra is not in it. And it is actually a completely different um, development team for Alundra 2. But yes, it always, it always got me that. Um, a game called Alundra 2 does not have Alundra in it. That has always just been hilarious to me. I'm like, why? Give it some other name, please. <laughs> he must have been in the water for some time now. Zane is deed. Owies. Can you just get out of my way, friends? Owie. Um, but I was talking about sequence breaks, as there are two of them. The uh, two sequence breaks are getting the Earth book early, as in before you ever get the Earth scroll and getting um, the fire wand early. Which are two two sequence breaks I was desperately trying to do as a kid. I'm like, oh, I could totally do it. I, I swear I could do it. 
Um, and then couldn't. <laughs> Tried. Failed. So many times. But I have, I have seen how to sequence break those. I don't know. I, I have not yet done it myself. I just know that they are now possible. I now know that those sequence breaks are possible. And getting Earthbook early is just... Yeah. I want Earthbook early. <laughs> it's one of those things I'm like, well, surely that is something I should be able to do. And surely that is... Okay, that is not something I can jump. Really. But you're not you're you're gonna do that, but you're not gonna kill anyway. Whatever. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do this part. Oh, no. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm an idiot. It's fine. Everybody ignore me. And I'm, I remember what I'm supposed to be doing now. Jumps that it doesn't look like you're supposed to be able to do. Because platforming. Thanks. Damn it. Well, you got out of my way, and that's all that really matters. Owie. No, I want that chest. I just want to make sure it's not a gilded falcon. Because I am well on my way to 100 falcons. Not that I'm going to get the last one. I will not get the last one. I'm not actually going to 100%. Figured that was my guild of Falcon. But I want full health, so. You're probably something I can't get right now. Yeah, don't care. In case I ever desperately feel like I need them. Push the lower level three times and the upper level once to start the elevator. If it doesn't work, shake things up a bit. The engine's quite over. Lower level three times, upper one, right? One? Yes. Cool. One. Two. Three. What do you mean it's not working? It's old! Alright. When in doubt, kick it. physical strength that's been fully restored. Indeed, pup date. The husky on the fridge. You now have a husky in your lap. Well, at least you know the husky's not getting into trouble with the husky in your lap. Zazen. What? You haven't found a crest here? Oh, Kiki. Lord Melzaz has orders to find seven crests. Seven. Yet you have only seen to find a pitiful two. Oh, and do not return without the remaining crests. Walk. I will not return until I fulfill your command. Get out of my way. <laughs> she was raised with three cats. She isn't aware that the lab is for cats and not a 45 kilo dog. Huskies, man, they get big. All right. Oh, key, key, key. I smell furless ones! Crush their heads, smash their bones! Smash, smash, smash! 
Come on. You still have a pupper. Hey guys. The Merg are dead. All the Merg are dead. But that's a lot because there are more Merg. Life vessel. We just won't discuss why that was just chilling on the ceiling and why killing the Merg made it fall. So, we found the miners, and we made our way up. Oof. Hmm. I don't think we're supposed to go that way. See? There are more Merc. Told you they weren't all dead. I'm not controlling this portion. So they mentioned that the Merc are from the tree. Behold the tree. That's a lot of Merc friends. What kind of pupper do you have, Boral? We know that Oslo's is a, is a husky. What kind of 25 kilo dog are we talking about here? Expecting you. Where were you ten seconds ago? I have a theory that the coal mine and Merg words are connected. If that's true, there should be a hidden entrance around here somewhere. Oh dear, Lundra, you are quite late. I was worried, but no matter. I'm just happy you're safe and sound. Ludus and the others went to find you in the coal mine. Instead, they found Zane and the others. The only problem was that they were all... dead. Well then, I suppose I'll be heading back to the village. My presence here is not really required. See ya. Thanks, Klein. Okay. I want this chest. I think this is what I think it is. Is it's down in the water? Oh, yeah. Aww, I want to see it. Okay, I am going to find my way to my save point. My kiddo is waking up from her very short nap. And we will continue our adventure on Wednesday. save. Oh, dang it. This is what I mean about the game forces you to do some things. Alundra, you're here. Sibyl has been asking for you, wondering when you would come. Driving me crazy, actually. Would you be a sweet and go talk to her? So we're gonna go talk to Sybil first. Have a good one, Boral. Sybil, I've been waiting for you, Alandra. I know. He can never save when he wants to. While I am awake, I have dreams more vivid than anyone can imagine. Not normal dreams, but terrifying visions of futures not yet beheld in this reality. You must help me. Wait, I'll show you what I mean. Here, will you take my hand? So let's remember Sybil dreams while she's awake, and Alandra is a dreamwalker. 
So this is why this is possible. Can you see it, Alundra? I know that you can. You are seeing the dream I am having as we speak. the woodsman. Oh goodness. Those sound like wolves, man. Leave from here, beast, or I shall slay you with by the gods. <laughs> this is a long dream sequence, friends. There's Azan. Us. I'm stuck in a dream sequence before I can save. And then we have the Merg jumping into one of the little boys, either Burgess or Nestus. I never remember which is which because they're twins. Soon, Alundra, my dream will become a reality. They all do. That fact frightens me more than anything else. You have to help, please. Okay, friends, let's see if we can save now. <laughs> Thank you, Alondra. I think you and Sybil are becoming friends, aren't you? How cute! Can I, can I save it, please? <laughs> nope. Alondra, you've returned. This is good. I know you're tired, but you should pay your respects. You didn't know Olin and the rest well, Alondra, but trust me, they were good people. Take the flowers to Olin, my friend. Olin was always like, always did like a nice bouquet. Never afraid to stop and smell the roses. Be careful, though. Rumors of a creature seen near the cemetery are running wild in the village. I don't want you taking any chances, you know what I'm saying. Receive the flowers. They smell nice. Okay, so it is going to allow me to save before I head into the cemetery to pay our respects to the fallen miners. So we are going to save and we are going to pause it here and we will pick up with our miner friends next time. So, we are pausing it there. I'm gonna let the music go in the background because it's better than uh, it's better than pure silence. I like the I like the music. Thank you so much for coming, Mag. Yeah, I I also desperately hope my daughter has better sleep tonight because we're supposed to play D and D with my in in um inimitable DM Malshim who may or may not still be in chat. Well, she, I'm hoping she sleeps so we can game tonight at a decent hour. So, but I will pick up with Alundra on Wednesday, my time at uh, 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. 
it is localized for you all below on my page so take a look you can see when I'm starting have a good one Oslo thank you all for coming in and I hope you will drop by soon I I hope everyone will come back to continue the adventures of Alundra it is it's a good time this is this is my favorite game and I am so excited to be able to share it with you all and I hope that my daughter will be more cooperative next time so there's not as many interruptions because it's kind of a dramatic story so Thank you so much, Fizzy, for coming in. Thank you, Xerix. There's my DM. There he is. Mal Sheem. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> but I gotta go. My spouse needs the webcam. So I'm gonna leave you all with this. But we do need to raid. Let's see. That's our last piece. Is who... Who are we raiding, friends? Gotta find a... Are you all Legend of Zelda fans? Are you Legend of Zelda fans? Because I know who we should be who we should be raiding. <laughs> I see that I see that that fudge is I see that fudge is, is is in fact streaming. But I I my my friend my friend Shavi, my friend Shavi is is currently uh running through Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Randomizer. Not randomizer. He's playing through vanilla because he's getting prepared to do the Twilight Princess randomizer. And he just hit affiliate. So I want to bring you all in there. I hope you will stick around for the raid just for a little while so that we can send love to Shavi and let him know that he's amazing. So that is who I am going to be raiding. So I hope you all will join me. Really, come on. You were right there. There it is. Start that raid. So, I hope you all will join me. Join me for this raid. I love you all. You're amazing. We will be back. Hit in with some, some fun raid hype. I love you. I love you all. I will see you Wednesday. Cheers.